Hey guys, let's make Among Us cake pops. there welcome back to my channel in this video i am showing you how i made my among us cake pops i just used a box cake of my choosing and made it according to the box i know that there are sometimes ways to modify this but i wanted to make life easy so i added in the water eggs and oil mixed it up and baked it in the oven for actually a little bit longer than what it recommended on the box when it was nice and cooled, I added in almost a full container of frosting. I did take out a little bit to make a mini cake and I covered that in my previous video. After the cake and the frosting was well incorporated and well mixed, I took a little cookie scoop and rolled it in my hands and formed a rectangle where the top two corners were kind of rounded. And as you can see, I did sketch out what I anticipated my little crewmates or Among Us characters to look like. I was planning on using marshmallows as the legs of the characters, but you could easily form your dough to incorporate the legs, so you don't need mini marshmallows necessarily for this. After I assembled all of the little bodies of these crewmates or again Among Us characters, it was time to stick my little popsicle sticks in them and to do this, I made a two to one ratio of chocolate chips to heavy whipping cream. So I used like 50 grams of heavy whipping cream and 100 grams of chocolate chips, melted that together. And when that kind of cooled down, I took that, dipped my stick in and shoved it in what would be the head of the little Among Us character. So the rounded portion of my rectangle. And then I put these guys in the freezer to totally firm up and get nice and cold. After I had completed all of the characters that I was going to assemble, I took them out of the freezer, trimmed off my little pastry bag where I had my warm ganache, and used this, again, chocolate ganache as kind of the glue to attach my little mini marshmallows. And I tried to make sure to leave a little bit of a gap between the two mini marshmallows on the bottom so that when I dip this in chocolate later on, they would still be distinguishable as the legs. Once all of the legs were put on these little cake pops, I threw them back in the freezer to firm up a bit. And then it was time to secure my last mini marshmallow before I dipped the entire thing in chocolate. To do this, I cut a mini marshmallow in half, kind of like vertically or lengthwise. And I attach this to the side of my little Among Us character, again, using some of my chocolate ganache. Then I put all of these guys in the freezer overnight to get completely firm. My hope was that everything would be nice and cold so that the dipping chocolate would firm up fairly quickly the next day. I purchased some of this green melting chocolate from Michael's using one of their coupons online. So I highly recommend if you get your candy from there that you use a coupon to save some money. And I just heated it according to the instructions. It said to do a minute at 50% in your microwave and then 30 second intervals at full capacity until your melting wafers were nice and smooth. They do warn not to overheat and they give instructions on what to do if that happens. So once the chocolate was ready, I took my frozen cake pops and dipped them in one at a time, trying to shake off or tap it on the little cup that I had there to get off any excess chocolate. I didn't want to have extra on there and I didn't want to have to get more to actually finish this project. Once all of my little characters were dipped, it was time for the final touch where again, I cut a mini marshmallow in half and use the dipping chocolate to secure that marshmallow as the kind of face mask of the Among Us character. If you want to take this a step further, you could easily pipe the details or outline of the Among Us character around the face mask and around the entire body and legs and little backpack. But honestly, I really don't think it needs it. And these turned out to be so delicious and everyone really loved them. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and check out all of my motherhood content. If you are throwing an Among Us party, I wish you the best of luck and I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it.
to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.